Hello everybody and thanks for checking out another video here on G4G Games for Gamers. Well, I was about ready to go off and play Titanfall. I was maybe thinking of taking a look before I went and played at my Heroic Age Iron Fist, seeing if I wanted to update his ISOs a little bit. Maybe use him in PvP for possible Neurotrope counters, uh, the three Warriors, counters Warriors 3. And lo and behold, what did I see when I logged in? Yeah, PvP has started already. I was hoping they wouldn't do this. I was hoping I'd have a little more time to flush out what I wanted to do for PvP. Was I going to open up with a continuation of my Pesty meta, which did a really good job? Was I going to go to a Bleeder team? Was I going to go to a Counter team? Was I going to go to a non sploit team, a tanker tactical tacticians team like you've seen in the previous video. And then, I mean, there's all these goodies over here. The demon set is up. Hard Knox is up, which plays with it. Deathly Freeze Ray, which even plays with it. There's a gold sale going on, which has Thorny, which kind of goes with all of this stuff. And goddamn PvP dropped. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Damn it. I just kind of liked coming home, not having to worry about the five victories, not worrying about my losses. I don't even know what I want to do on defense yet. And here it is. So, it's Rocket Raccoon, or what looks like Rocket Meth Fox over here. Holy hell, I mean, it looks like somebody gave Star Fox some Red Bull. I mean, look at those eyes. Not the furry little anthropomorphic squirrel buddy <laughs> that he gets portrayed to be sometimes. So, um, let's see what we got. We also have Taskmaster as the lockbox hero. This guy, yeah, I've kind of been waiting for this guy when I knew he was going to be coming out. And I was really curious to see what were they going to do to him. Like, could they make him this, like, mimic that captures everybody's abilities and uses them against them. Um, I, I do recall on a the wiki for Moon Knight, and I believe it was for the Marvel Heroes game, that Moon Knight is like so crazy and, and so lunatic. Haha, <laughs> punny. Get it? Moon Knight Luna. Um, that even Taskmaster would rather take the hit than copy Moon Knight's abilities. And... Um, yeah, well, here you go. Let's take a look at uh, Crack Fox over here. And let's take a look at Taskmaster. Hogun doesn't have a timer on him yet, but obviously at the end of the PvP season he'll be available. And I'm pretty close to getting Falcon. Shame that they didn't really give me a chance to get Falcon in there and using him. Um, but my Volstag is 9. My Fandral is 9. Not that I'd use... Age of Venom over here, but he's 8 training to be 9. So, let's take a look at Taskmaster. Photographic Reflexes. Gains the power of attacker's class when attacked. Moves change depending on the current power. Ooh. It's going to be interesting. Tactical Insight. 50% chance to gain an extra turn when changing classes. This effect can only trigger once per round. So potentially very nice with Mockingbird, maybe, as a complete team counter. Uh, he starts off with three bars at everything, so probably a good chaotic build. Uh, two empowered isos, and let's see what his actions are. Whoa, six. Man, we've got a lot to go over over here. So, trick shot. I guess this is probably going to be his general thing. Trick shot. One enemy ranged. Quick shot. 50% chance of performing a follow-up. It can trigger multiple times, so I guess like uh, Hawkeye's abilities. Aim shot. Applies pinpoint target before attacking. Alright, again, a little bit like Hawkeye. That's kind of cool. And bleeding. Alright, nifty. Dance of blood. I wonder if this is going to be like the Baron. Not Baron. Whatever his guy is. The guy who does the AOE spinny sword thing. You can pick up a sword and it bleeds and it heals you while bleeding. Yeah, that guy. 
Uh, Adamantium Vampiric Strike consumes bleeding on targets to restore health. Okay, so yeah, it is a little bit like him, uh, except it consumes the bleeding. So who might go well with him? Um, the Devourer weapon would be kind of cool because the Devourer hits everybody, so it'll put it right back when the agent goes. And uh, Fandril has a no cooldown, three stacks of bleed, so... Man, maybe Classic Taskmaster can live forever uh, abusing Vampiric Strike and then fans will just putting three stacks right back. That, that neat. All enemies impaired do 20% less damage and cannot crit. All allies rising up. Seeing a lot of that lately. Nightmare Sword, Stealthy. Ooh. Broken Will reduces damage. Intimidated reduces... So, these two right here, that's that's pretty nice. The, an Impaired, you know, might protect your Bruiser Agent from a Havoc. Uh, he won't be able to crit. Broken Will, that's a you know, that's like Ares. But it's on offense, not a defense. So, that's, that's pretty neat. Intimidated, generalized. So, right here, good abilities. That's, that's sexy. Sapping shot. So this is probably his blaster setup over here. Withered. Alright, so a little bit like Rogue, a little bit like Famine's Toll, Distraction. Parting Gift, Deadly Crits, Exploits Opportunity. Okay, cool. One enemy, one enemy. Turn the tables. All enemies are impaired and rising up. So I guess his turn the tables stays. Except that's a blaster version of it. The icon's a little bit different. Blaster training, quick action. All allies gain. Oh wow! All allies gain blaster power. Man, that's neat. That is really, really neat. Everybody gaining blaster power without the drawback of being a blaster when hitting a tactician. Uh, attack of opportunity. Probably the bruiser. Yeah, here's your bruiser stuff. Exploits opportunity again, and causes bleeding, dance of blood, so it's eh, it's a lot like his generalist setup. Everybody gains enraged. Okay, so he's like an AoE mockingbird almost there. Um, cover fire neutralized. Oh, that's a little bit different. So you know, things are changed up there slightly. That's pretty cool. Infiltrate a ring of steel. So it's kind of random what things change. I like that. It's not totally predictable. All right, so bleeding again, ravaged pain. So kind of almost Wolverine-ish here. Headshot, true strike. Oh, hey, that's, that's cool for the continued use of the cube. Targeted, fatal blow. Ricochet shield, hobbled. All enemies hobbled. Nice. I like that. You don't see that other than Electra for uh, an all-enemy hobbled. And Infiltrator training. Everybody gains counters. Damage dealt by 30%. All attacks become stealthy. <laughs> oh, wow. This guy is getting really powerful. Mutilate. Obviously, here's his scrapper stuff. Ravage bleeding again. So he does a lot of bleeds. Berserker frenzy. Exploits bleeds, but doesn't consume them. Nice. Flying steel, winded... Fl oh, hey, they've given him a flanked. Scrapper training, quick action. Scrapper pal. I, I can't imagine an offensive team that almost wouldn't use this guy. Like, he does everything. I haven't seen a buff yet that the tanker is going to be able to help him out with. I mean, these are buffs, but they're all quick action, so... All right, here's his tactical stuff, trick shot, disarming strike, a deep power, and an exhausted. Jesus. Rising up, build up. So that's a spiral right here. That's a spiral. Tactician. Wow, imagine if he's in tactician mode. You could use the tanker, and then he gives everybody... Wow, that's... So, yeah, um, he is incredibly impressive, not the mimic that I thought he'd be, but uh, I, I would love to get him. I would love to get him and play around with him. I think he'd be 
incredibly overpowered. So let's go to Rocket Raccoon, which almost is going to be a letdown after that. So Modern Rocket Raccoon. Um, let's see if this guy's got any team ups. Quite literally equal to Captain America and Hawkeye. Yeah, you can see that. Uh, Venom for Classy. Uh, a bunch of Black Widows. Captain America. Some Constrictors. A bunch of Hawkeyes. A bunch of Mockingbirds. That kind of makes sense. A little bit on Moon Knight. Omega Sentinel Punisher, Satana, a couple spider Women, a few Spirals, some Valkyries. Alright, so let's take a look at Rocket Raccoon. Really crappy health, an amazing amount of stamina and attack, and accuracy and evasion. So he's, wow, almost infiltrator-ish over there. His defense is crappy, but... That evasion definitely more than makes up for it. Everybody's just going to whiff. They're going to attack over his head. So his level 1 is Blam. It's a quick action. That's interesting. I've never... It's pretty rare to see a character whose level 1 is a quick action. Increases damage taken by 8% for pain stacks. Ammo cell. Requires 1 ammo cell. Not required for follow-ups or counterattacks. So there's his ammo cell times 3. And starts combat with the three ammo cells. Trigger Happy joins in on another ally's follow-up or counter-attack. So it kind of reminds me of Union Jack. If you've got an agent with a lot of counter-attack items, just, you can see Rocket Raccoons and Union Jacks jumping in all over the place. Murdered. All this stuff is capitals. Another quick action. Grants an immediate turn targeted. Requires two ammo cells. I hope there's a buildup of his ammo cells over here. Quick action, pyrophoric. Uses all of his ammo cells. Kerplowy, combustible. Exploits opportunity, exploits burning. Quick action, but it's a low chance to hit. It's all enemies, all enemies, one enemy. One en oh, wow, that's an all enemies item. Damn. Nimble. Requires five. So where's his builder? I'm really curious over here. Things. Does he gain like one per round or something? Maybe three per round? Maybe that buff gives him three per round. And like if you used a one over here. But then you. Okay. I, I'm going to guess. Based on what I'm seeing here, is that every round he gains three ammo cells. So, if he gained three in a round, and he used three over here, does that make him have to just recharge? Very interesting. Might be a good candidate for uh, soothing rest. Over here, fire and stop, fire and stop. So, let's, let's take a look at the... Um, Let's take a look at the weapon and the suit over here. Diamondly Overloader. One enemy. One round cooldown. Customized. Multifunction. Ooh. See, we can't explore the multifunction here, I don't think. Yeah, that kind of sucks. I'll have to look at that on the wiki. The tactical suit. Pretty nice. Rocket Raccoon. So... Yeah, we have PvP Season 15 upon us, and uh, I don't even know what I'm going to do yet. I wanted time to experiment with some teams. I was thinking of a Devour Counter Bleedy team. Uh, I ran Miss Marvel Moonstone in a practice bout, and this worked out really, really well. I, I was going to ISO Miss Marvel, was going to ISO Steve Rogers. <sighs> Man, I was really hoping that they wouldn't do this, but here we are. It's the start of the season. And, um, yep, so it's live. So let's check out PvP Season 15, a potentially good weapon. Uh, 
Rocket Raccoon and Taskmaster in the lockboxes. So, hope everybody enjoyed this video here on G4G Games for Gamers, and let's all kick ass in Season 15, and good luck to whatever teams you choose. Have fun, everybody.